To optimize a game asset, you should create simple versions of it for the level of detail system in Unity. Let's learn how to do that using this mushroom object. Make sure you have selected the object. Use Shift D to duplicate it. Right click so that it stays in the same location as the original object. Use Shift D once again to duplicate it. Click the right mouse button. Now the outliner window should display three objects. For Unity to automatically add the level of detail component to the object, its versions must be named correctly. Double click the top object in the outliner window. Add underscore LOD0 after its name. This version is the default version of the mushroom that will have the most geometry. Make sure you type the name correctly or Unity won't automatically add the LOD component to it. The word LOD should be written in capital letters. Double click the object at the top again. Rename it mushroom01 underscore LOD1. There will be slightly less geometry in this version than in the default version. Now double click the remaining object and name it mushroom01 underscore LOD2. Let's now make the LOD1 and LOD2 versions simpler. Hide version 0 and 2 in the outliner window by clicking the eye buttons next to them. Select version 1. You can easily reduce the geometry in an object with a modifier called decimate. Open the modifier properties tab. Click the add modifier drop down menu and select decimate. The modifier didn't do any changes to the model yet. Open the overlays menu in the upper right corner of the 3D viewport window and activate the statistics setting. You can now see the triangle count of the object from the upper left corner of the 3D viewport window. The more triangles the object has, the more detailed it usually looks, but as the number of triangles increases, so does the time it takes to draw it in the game. There are currently 142 triangles in the mushroom, which is already a very low number. However, it's good to note that if there are 10 mushrooms visible at the same time, the device has to draw 1420 triangles. While this isn't a big number either, even small things can add up pretty quickly if you don't pay attention to them. Let's now adjust the values of the decimate modifier to see how low the number of triangles becomes. Set the ratio value to 0.5. The appearance of the mushroom changed slightly. The number of triangles in it changed also. When making LOD versions, you shouldn't lower the geometry too much, because then the version change in the game will be noticeable. The goal is to make the version change as smooth as possible. To accept the decimate modifier, click the down pointing arrow button and select the apply option. Now hide version 1 and unhide version 2. Add the decimate modifier to this version as well. This time set the ratio value to 0.25. The mushroom became very simple, but when viewed from afar it probably won't be noticeable. Accept the modifier by clicking the arrow button. Select apply. Use alt H to unhide all versions of the object. Press Ctrl S to save the object. Let's take the model out of Blender now. Navigate to File, Export, FBX. Select Desktop as the file location. Because the axes in Blender are slightly different from the axes in Unity, you will need to activate the Apply Transform setting so that the model behaves correctly in Unity. Click the Export FBX button. If you want to learn more, check out my Game Asset Creation course by clicking the link below.